Hey, this is Mike. Check out this 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited two-wheel drive in white. Now this is a pretty good priced vehicle because it's not four-wheel drive and it's not an overland and st stuff like that. But you get some really good features uh, for the price on this one. And you got the awesome looks of the Grand Cherokee. Now you can see it's got the projector headlights here in the front and the projector fog lights. Alloy wheels, 18 inch. Now this one does not have a sunroof, but um, you can get them with or without. Now the, one of the features this has is the is a proximity key. Now I can remote start it. I can also lift the tailgate, stuff like that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Now you can see in the back here we've got the backup sensors, parking sensors, as well as the backup camera. You see the little lens there. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the tailgate, lift gate there, just by using the key. And I'm going to go ahead and put the key in my pocket. I won't need it the rest of the video. I can add there to the vehicle and all that stuff. I'll show you. But anyways, here's the back. And you've got a, a shade here. you got some storage pockets, power supply. you got these metal bars to slide your cargo on into the vehicle easier. And it also protects the carpet. you got a storage bin there. A LED rechargeable flashlight. And uh, this actually opens up and you have your full size spare tire and tools. A little funnel there for your capless fuel input. And you have these two big storage bins here. And they come out and you can dump them. You can put them back in. You can use them for trash or whatever. Yeah, actually you could use put some ice in there and have like little coolers. It's pretty cool and everything's out of the way when you're not using it. And this one has the metal ramps here for uh, kind of protect the plastic if you're loading up stuff. Now I can close the tailgate by pushing this button. Don't have to use the key or anything. And that comes down like that. Smart Alex driving by. Um, but anyway, so let's. Here's the car it's still locked I have the key in my pocket and I'm gonna go ahead and put my hand behind the handle here and unlock the doors I can relock them by pushing this button see how that works and basically put my hand there unlocks so that way I don't actually have to take the key out of my pocket in order to interact with the vehicle and that's only for the driver and passenger door the, the rear doors do, doesn't do that now here's the back, inside of the back door, you got a nice real wood grain finish here, trim, black up here, tan down here, you got some high quality stitching right here, bottle holder, leather seats, net pockets, and you do have heated seats here in the back as well, and there's some USB imp chargers back here, and a AC adapter outlet. This folds down, revealing an armrest and two cup holders. Now this seat, um, it does have the latch system for car seats. And this seat does fold down like so. Now the anchor for the latch system is right here, not that. So just make sure you keep that in mind when you're putting a car seat in. Heated side mirrors. Here's the inside of the driver's door. You got wood grain trim here, bottle holder, presets for your power seat, power door locks, window controls, and side mirror controls. You got a little tweeter right here. You got that Jeep emblem. Right here's your uh, your power seat controls with lumbar support. You got automatic headlight. Uh, headlights system. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the fuel cap to show you. Or fuel door, sorry, because it does not have a cap. It does have a like a rubber seal around here. 
and it is a capless design and that little funnel I was telling you about that's for using if you're using a gas can uh, to because you can't just put anything in there it has to be a certain diameter and you can use E85 um, ethanol gas if you want alrighty since I used a remote start I have to um, I'm going to adjust my seat everything's off you see everything's kind of blacked out so in order to turn everything on I have to push the, the, the button here so now everything turns on a little bit of a glare from the sun but you see it has a nice big screen there and right now it's set to um, uh, let's see here it's set to speed and big digital speedometer now I can change the looks of that um, by pushing to the left and it gives me like an analog looking style uh, let me see if I can try to block, there we go block that a little bit, looks a little bit better now I can scroll down, you can see there's like a little little icons to the left, let me turn that radio down icons to the left I can scroll down uh, this is where you can see different information and now that I got into uh, vehicle info I can scroll to the right and I can see all the, the details there. I can scroll down. This is your fuel economy, trip info, uh, different inputs. This messages will be there. Screen set up, and then it just scrolls back to the speedometer, which I can change back and forth to whichever I want. I want. Gauges, the rest of the gauges are pretty much self explanatory, pretty much the same thing. Temperature outside 81 degrees. I'm facing south, which my digital compass tells me there. I can change those to other information, like say distance to empty or fuel economy in the moment, stuff like that. And uh, these are the buttons I'm using to adjust that screen. Now the steering wheel, it's a leather wrapped steering wheel. Cruise controls on this side. It does have the paddle shifters right here on the right and left. And uh, cruise control volume button on the back of the steering wheel just below the paddle shifter you got a volume button it's like a little toggle switch I can change to the stations on this side put on 80s now I can put the volume down on this side and um, so the steering wheel has lots of buttons for you know front and back and stuff also you have your Bluetooth controls here you can answer your phone or make phone calls here hang up the phone calls voice recognition you can change to the stations you can turn the climate control to a certain number you can go to a certain address on the navigation you can uh, make phone calls anything you want there on the vo voice recognition it does take certain commands that you have to you know kind of learn how to use the system but it's well worth it because it keeps your hands on the steering wheel and your focus on the road while interacting with the vehicle so it's a safety feature so over here you've got your uh, big glare is what you got for the sun hopefully maybe that'll help I'm gonna try to. I'm, this is the window sticker. I'm just just kind of block some of the sun here. But this is your 8.4 UConnect system, and um, basically it's a big touch screen. In the video, in, in looking at it with my my eyes, I can't really see much of a glare. But in the video, it's kind of showing a little bit of a reflective glare because of the sun. So so anyways, hopefully you'll be able to see it. I mean, I'm sure you can make it out. The, uh, right now we're in the radio here's your icons we're in the radio icon this is where you find your AM FM satellite radio stuff like that you can also adjust your audio there I'll show you what it looks like you can adjust your balance and your equalizer um, speed adjusted volume and stuff like that now your media um, this is where you would your your USB well let's see here SD card input your um, Bluetooth and we scroll to your uh, USB auxiliary input which I'll show you where all this stuff is and it has a CD player and now that's an expensive ad so I mean it's if you're still using CDs consider phasing out because it's expensive to add the CD players now your, your inputs are 
down here. SD card, USB, and auxiliary inputs are there. CD player is actually in here. Controls. This is where you'll find your heated and heated heated seats and heated steering wheel. On both the driver and passenger. Of course, the passenger doesn't have a steering wheel, but the heated seat. Settings. This is where you can adjust your clock settings and the way beeping of your horn and lights flashing stuff like that if you want that and uh, climate this is where you can adjust your climate temperature all that good stuff you can adjust your fan speed and everything I'm getting kind of hot in here so I'm going to adjust that down a little bit hopefully the air doesn't interfere with the camera but um so there's your climate control now it's dual zone basically driver and passenger but you can sync it here with that button navigation this is your navigation icon um, you can choose where to go like say addresses recent point of interest you can put your home address saved in there stuff like that uh, or you can just view the map and just kind of see where you're at and where you need to go and it kind of gives you a really neat map and it kind of little bubble show you the name of the names of the streets and yet you can zoom in and out right here you can see where you're at where you're facing where you're headed all that good stuff phone once you pair your Bluetooth phone to the system uh, you can you, this will kind of everything will kind of light up here it's kind of blacked out now because there's no phone paired but you have a phone book recent calls you can make calls with using a dial pad there uh, you can redial in your call you have favorites over the top mute uh, different phone settings there you can you can pair up to six phones I believe but you have a priority system which one will work at a time you can transfer the call back to your cell phone if you want to have a private conversation that you don't want everybody to hear in the car but uh temperature compass up there clock and cool stuff up there here's some redundant buttons basically your climate control buttons your radio buttons volume tune temperatures fan control stuff like that are down here as well as on the screen uh, eco mode that's where you gives you the the, the, com the computer of the vehicle focuses on gas mileage when that's on when you turn that off it's more focused on performance and stuff like that which this does have a sport mode which I'll show you in a second and it shifts all the attention onto the performance of the vehicle um, which will turn automatically turn eco off parking sensors you can turn those off if you know you're gonna get close to something traction control you can turn that off in case you want to do donuts or something like that in here I showed you before is your inputs power supply little kind of storage bin there as well cup holders are here now here's your shifter it is a 8 speed uh, electric shifter and uh, right now it's in park I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse to show you a couple things one is your parking sensor comes on and you see that it's telling me there's something back there it's got to be yellow alert as I get closer it'll get red and beep and stuff like that here's your nice big camera and uh, it's pretty good clarity for a backup camera you can see all the way from the bumper all the way up to the sky and it helps out with a wide-angle view and also you have a, a estimated trajectory with those lines as I move the steering wheel uh, the lines will move and kind of give me an idea of where I'm where I'm headed and uh, so the, really the backup camera is nice big big on a big screen like that really helps out with backing up now I'm gonna go ahead and put it down into drive now you see where it says DS the S stands for sport mode but you can't tell which gear you're in on the shifter you have to look here let's see here you can see that you see where it says a D so I'm gonna I'm gonna sh shift down and it's gonna put me in sport mode you see it has like a little flag and and the car and on like a kind of racy look picture and um, now the the attention is focused on performance they just throw out the gas mileage and say you want performance when you put it in sport mode doesn't matter about gas mileage you want to you want to fly you want to really get to the hospital fast or something like that so um, but in order to go back to drive you just hold it down again you just bump it down now it's in drive bump it down again sport mode so like right now if I'm in sport mode if I go up it's not going to go in the drive it's going to go in a neutral 
So I go down, sport mode, down again, drive. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in park. But pretty neat feature. Um, interesting, the shifter is a little bit different than normal, but it's you know real easy to get used to. You got a felt line pocket there. Center console, this is where I showed you it had your CD player, but it also has a felt lined uh, pocket there and a power supply and a little place here for the wires to go in and out of this compartment if you need them to. Got the wood grain over here, lockable glove compartment, which is felt line on the bottom. And then you've got a little compartment up there where you're, I don't know if you can see you because the up in there. Auto dim rear view mirror. This is uh, the assist button. This is push that and you, it'll call somebody and you can uh, set up your Uconnect system on the Uconnect apps, which are here on the screen. Which is one of the cool things here. I want to show you one thing first. Where it says via mobile. Okay. I'm in apps. Via mobile uh, is what I'm trying to point out to you. Uh, Pandora, via mobile, stuff like that. That's using your cell phone data. So you want to make sure that you're aware of that. Um, one of the cool things here, travel link, fuel prices, if you're in an area where you don't know where the nearest gas station is, you can sort them by distance. If you're just cheap and you want to just find the one with the cheapest price around, you can choose that. And then once you figure out which one you want, you can just hit that one it'll tell you where it is. But also, you can call them, ask them if they have clean restrooms or whatever. You can also hit go now and it'll take you to your to the navigation screen and tell you exactly how to get there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, movie listings, sports, uh, weather, current, three to six hours, five day, uh, stuff like that. So pretty cool feature. The travel link, I really like it. Now you do have to have a radio with satellite radio has to be active and you have to have navigation on the radio so to have this feature with well, this one has both and you can once you register your your uh, Uconnect system you can have a Wi-Fi hotspot you can add more apps here this is just the basic and that's what this button the assist button is for in the 911 in case there's an emergency you can push that the Bluetooth system it has two microphones or on top of the um, rear view mirror that's where they are kind of keep away from some wind place to put your shades right here tap lights floodlight more of a spotlight there the garage door controls are here this is an infrared temperature thermometer for your climate control system there's your visor it does have a mirror with lights same thing on that side Take a look back here. See what your seats look like. The view out of the back. Alright, let's look underneath the hood. Alright, it has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. And you can see they left the extra room there in the front in case you want the V8. But who needs a V8 when you got a 300 horsepower V6? It gets good gas mileage and runs good. I guess if you need to haul a trailer or something, I guess maybe you'd need a V8. So I guess there's reasons, but anyway. Alright, if you have any questions, my phone number and email address will be in the description. And uh, also, if I missed anything or if I got something wrong or if I just you know didn't go over something properly, uh, leave it in the comments. I'd like to really improve my videos, so if you can share some information with me and everybody else, I'd really appreciate it. And I'm trying to make my, my videos more useful for everybody that wants to watch them. So, see you next time. Thanks for watching.